Hi, it's Dr. Sarah Wasbauer. Let's talk a little bit about what it feels like to go through a telodenofluvium, because I just recently had this exact same experience again, so I can really relate with my patients. So I've gone through telogenofluvium like a massive shed. That's what a telogenofluvium is. It's just whoosh, gobs of hair coming out a couple of times, most usually after pregnancy. And I've had three children, so we've gone through that every single time like clockwork. And every single time, it is just as gut-wrenching as the previous three. So I went through this again just recently, starting in November. It is now March. And what happens is, your hair starts coming out and you don't know why, but you kind of feel like it's got, you know, especially if you have longer hair like I do, you'll you'll see huge gobs coming out on your brush and your shower and you think, oh my gosh, pretty soon I'm not going to have any hair left at all. Another thing that patients tell me that they notice is all of a sudden their ponytail has gone from being this big to being this big. And they'll tell me literally I've lost half my hair. This is very common and it's usually a self-limited thing which is not to say that it doesn't provoke a lot of anxiety. I'm the hair doctor. I've seen tons of patients go through this. I see the beginning and the end, so I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And even I was talking myself down in the mirror every single morning. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. So I am on minoxidil. And when you're on minoxidil, usually these things end a little bit sooner. If it goes longer than six months, it's called a chronic telogen effluvium. Usually it starts to taper off month three, month four, month five. And a lot of patients immediately after a hair surgery will also experience a telogen effluvium and it will be that same self-limited thing. So if you'll notice now my, you know, I used to be able to just twist my hair tie just twice. Now I got to twist it three times in order to hold my hair back. Uh, and a lot of patients will tell me that as well, but it has actually started to cease and come back. And I'll show you the evidence of that is these little short hairs. Most women have some little short hairs in the frontal temporal corners. That's what these little things are called. And that's a very feminizing feature. It should be short. It should be wispy. They don't typically grow longer than a couple of inches. It It is not necessarily something that needs to be transplanted. That's not hair loss. That's just how a normal female hairline looks. But when it kind of thins out and then comes back and you get some of these short little hairs. Uh, for me, it's a little bit more on this edge here. That's uh, evidence that more is coming back. So if you are going through a telogen effluvium, I completely feel your pain and we can help you with that. Oral minoxidil is something that really helps. You can optimize your medication regimen. Definitely make sure that if you have any kind of B12 deficiency, iron deficiency, protein deficiency. If you're somebody who's typically a vegetarian, maybe get a little bit more animal protein into your diet. In any case, this will turn around. Sometimes people choose to stop doing color on their hair for a little while because that uh, might cause breakage in addition to the hair loss that you're having. Um, some people choose, like I did, to get a little bit of a shorter haircut so those big, long hairs don't kind of clog up my drain. Uh, but now things are turning around and I can say once again, to everyone out there, it will change. You will come back to regrowing your hair and telogen effluvia is nothing to laugh at. You're definitely going to get through this and we're happy to help hold your hand. If you think you're going through a telogen effluvium, give us a call and we'd be happy to help. Talk to you soon.